We have new information tonight about the murder of an Anderson County father found dead early this morning by his teenage son. Two people have now been arrested. WIF of News Mandy Gaither is live and local outside of the Anderson County Detention Center with the very latest. The coroner latest. says the victim died after being hit in the head with an object. He says he had stab wounds to his neck and burns to his body. He says accelerant was used before a fire was set. Tonight, two brothers are being held in the case. Eleven hours after their investigation began, Anderson County deputies walked Oscar Ernest Lance and his brother Jacob into the sheriff's office for questioning in the murder of this 53-year-old father. Todd Cantley's body was found around 3 a.m. inside his home on McAllister Drive near Pendleton. His teenage son, named Brooks, according to neighbors, woke up to smoke, put out a small fire, and discovered his father. Pogue Reed lives nearby, heard sirens, went down to the home. This is a terrible deal. And I know Todd had some problems. I'm not saying he didn't have some problems, but you know, and he had a good heart. Sky 4 shows you Cantley's car, which was found by investigators in a field off McElrath Road in the Star area, more than 20 miles away from the home. The suspects arrested shortly afterwards at a home on Saddle Trail. I just think it's horrible, and I'm worried, worried to death about Brooks. You know, I'm worried about it. Investigators say the suspects knew Cantley and were burglarizing the home. They say when Cantley confronted them, he was killed. Have a seat there in the corner. <clears throat> investigator Mitchell will be in here in just a second. Okay. My name is Tracy Cobb, one of the investigators from the sheriff's office, too. You got to tell me what I'm here for. After he does his, he's the lead in it. He knows more about it than I do, so I want him to do the talking, okay? All right, freeze. Well, you know what? We freeze in the wintertime and we sweat in the summertime. I don't understand the heating system of this building. Seems like we get heat when it's hot out and cold air when it's cold out. I'm glad you ain't gonna be cussing up with me. Yeah, this is Nathan Mitchell, lead investigator. Well, I know you've watched TV as far as, you know, people go to jail and all that kind of stuff, and people get rendered rights and whatnot. Well, since you're in the sheriff's office and you're in custody, I have to read you your rights. Okay. And... The same stuff you see on TV, and uh, I'm going to go through this form. This form is nothing but your rights, and this form helps me do it the same way every time. Okay, so just because we go through this form, it's not admitting any guilt or anything like that. Okay, it's just me under explaining your rights, and you understand it. Okay, you understand that? Now you go by Jacob, was that your first name? What's your middle name? Lance, L-A-N-C-E. Yes. Can you read and write? How far did you go to school? I graduated. We're at Pendleton. I ask that of everybody, so I so I do it the same way every time. Uh, read these first two lines for me that I put the line beside. Read those out loud for me. Right here. Yeah, the right of next time, anything you say may be used against you in court. Okay, the rest of it is you had the right to speak to a lawyer for advice before you were asked any questions and have him with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, we'll be appointed for you before any question if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you'll still have the right to stop answering questions at any time. 
you also have the right to stop asking at any time to you speak with a lawyer. You understand all that? If you understand those, sign that for me right there. Now here at the bottom it says, I've read this statement of my rights, I understand what my rights are. I'm willing to make a statement and answer questions. I'm not a lawyer at this time, I understand what I'm doing. The promise or threat has been made to me, no pressure or coercion of any kind has been used against me. I underline the word coercion because we don't use that word a whole lot, and not a whole lot, not many people know what it means anymore. Coercion is a big fancy word for bribery or force. Okay, I'm not trying to bribe you to talk to us. I'm not trying to force you to talk to us. Okay, so that's what coercion means. If you understand that, sign that for me right there. All right, sir. So, um, what am I here for? Well, we can get into that. So we can talk about this. It. Says after I sign that, it means I don't want a lawyer to understand. At this time. time, that's why I said at this time. You know, I want a lawyer at any time. Cause I, yeah, because I don't know what it, what you got me here for. I asked well, you. we we can't discuss what you, what you're here for until he goes through that whole form, and then after that form, and we start talking about it, you, you say you want a lawyer, then we stop. That's what this. <clears throat> that that's what your rights are. How long is it going to take to get a lawyer here? That's on you. Not that's us. a higher one. It, you know, if you, you can't afford a higher one, you have to be appointed for one, and that. It may take a while. I'm, we're talking. It ain't gonna be today. Say that much. Well, at least you got one on standby. But you know, sure wish we'll do whatever you want. Like I said, I ain't gonna force you. I ain't gonna make you. I just don't know what I mean. But we can't get into all that until we go through all this. Well, I will not know. No, we want you to. You I ain't trying to. This what you want to do? You make me? When you give addresses, are you giving the address from Santa Cruz or the Northern House? Give addresses to who? Santa Cruz. Okay. Santa Cruz. Give driver's license. Um, driver's license. Uh, where do you where do you get my what, what do you want to list as your home address? Your mom, one on one Santa Cruz. But I live with my girlfriend, my daughter. Mm -hmm. Well, or while we're here today, you know what you've done, haven't done. And first of all, let me tell you, you know, we we know things, okay? We You, you know what all's happened today. We're not dumb, okay? We expect honesty, okay? You being truthful about everything, believe it or not, truth hurts, but it also helps you. We're not here to bombard you with a bunch of shit and just be assholes to you. Okay. You understand me? Mm -hmm. So, so I'm waiting on you to tell me to fill me in on what you know that I'm supposedly done. So well, right now I got you charged with murder and burglary. Yeah. Well, that's what we're talking about. What is the evidence? You got evidence all over the place. Where? Just know that I got it. I need proof. Why do I have to prove to you what I got? Because the court comes in. Because if you don't have real evidence, then I shouldn't be locked up. If I don't have real evidence, you wouldn't be sitting right here. You agree? 
If I wouldn't have probable cause to say you did what I say you did, you wouldn't be sitting here right now. Right? Well, I ain't done nothing. I wouldn't have stolen guitars at your girlfriend's house. I wouldn't they have stolen stole. guitars in your car. They were, I, I gave, I got them from somebody. Who'd you get them from? Huh? Who'd you get them from? One of my buddies. Who? I ain't saying no names. I guess you won't. I guess it's on you then, isn't it? How? You got it. So? It don't mean I killed somebody. It don't mean I ran up in somebody's house. I say it does. You say it does? Well, Do you realize we've talked to a lot of people, right? Yeah. This isn't the first one of these we've ever had. Yeah. Okay. People talk. People lead us in directions to go. We've gone in those directions. What they've told us has been fruitful. It's not hearsay when it's been fruitful. If it was hearsay, you wouldn't be sitting there, though. We'd be on talk. Hey, you want to talk to us for a minute? On the street corner somewhere? But it's not that you're here. It's done. It's over. All you can do is learn from the past and let's get through it. What past? Last night. About last night. Where were you last night? With my kid and my girlfriend. All night. Huh? What time do you leave? What time do I leave <laughs> to take my brother home? What time? Did you, uh, you were there all night last night, right? Yeah. What time did you take your brother home? You brought that up. So, he, we went, he went bowling with his girlfriend around eight. We hooked back up around nine. He came to my girlfriend's house around twelve, and then he wanted him and his girlfriend wanted to see my kid, so I let him see my kid. And then his girlfriend left, and I took him home around three. I came back. I was there at four, and then my girlfriend told me uh, that she was going to go visit with her people, so I went to my mom's. And you've been at your mom's ever since. The gold car has been at your mom's ever since. Hmm? You drove. You drove the gold car to your mom. Yeah. About what time was that? Sometime this morning. Roughly. What What time did you think it was? I don't know. My phone's been there. It was daylight. Yeah, it was daylight. It was daylight. I got a hell of a Not really. You don't. How long? Because I've been sitting at the house with your mom. Since so daylight. Wasn't there. That's my mom. I've been there. No. No. Yeah. Just because of crime. How do you think we know when you came home earlier? Like, maybe 30 minutes ago? We ain't stupid, though. No, you ain't stupid. Then why are you sitting here trying to play me for a fool? I'm you trying to play you for a fool. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Sit there and lie and say, you've been home since daylight this morning. You ain't done it. You're insulting You ain't been at your girlfriend's house last night. You left your girlfriend's house late last night. Before midnight. Before midnight? Before midnight. Ass. You can't ask my girlfriend that. I have. You have? I have what you do. Did you left before midnight. Yeah, right. But you just don't get it, do you? Then why did you leave the girlfriend's house when you carried the damn guitars by there earlier? What guitars? What guitars? The two guitars you dropped off at her house. Uh, what about them? What about them? Those are the ones I was giving to you. By who? By a buddy. Uh, what's your buddy's name? With all the house buddies. Somebody in Edgewood in Pendleton. Somebody. It's going to give you shit. Hmm? I know about your dope in Brian. I know about your some weed, all that kind of bullshit. I don't sell weed. No, you don't sell no weed. You didn't go pick your mama up not long ago, or uh, what was it, last night to go buy some weed? 
Who? You. Who do I pick up about? Your mama. My mama? Yes. No. That wasn't you. There's two there from, there's two Jacob Lancers in this world. Been right around the gold Buick. You got me on video serving up my mama some weed? I got you on video at the Hardee's. Which Hardee's? The one you went to. This morning? This morning. When you said you were at the girlfriend's house? Yeah. I was going by to get me and my girlfriend some breakfast. But you said you was there all night. <laughs> so why don't you just quit telling the damn lies and let's talk about what really happened. Okay. 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 So what happened? Where'd you go last night when you left the girlfriend's house? I went to my brother's and we drank some beer. And then what? Pop the cape in. Huh? Pop the cape in. Pop the cape in. What the hell does that mean? Come on. And then what? Then we went up there to QT and got some mushies. What QT? The one. Wrapped some of my house. What time was that? I don't know. I was drinking. And then what happened? Then we went down to my brother's. And? Chill. And? Drank more. Where else did you go? Hmm? Where else did you go? Came back, got my brother up. You said, like you said, you sent me a Hardee's. Went to Hardee's, went to take the food to my girlfriend. My girlfriend said that the cops are all over me. I ain't need to come home. And I said, well, I ain't worried about it. I said, they can come to my house and I'll talk to them there. And that's what I put up at my house. And y'all, y'all busted in my mom's door. What? I was there for what, 10 minutes? Y'all was watching me. That's what happened. Yeah, there's a lot you leaving out. I'm not even there. You're leaving a lot out. Yeah. Trip to trip to Ivo, it'll be all kinds of places. Well shit, when you party in with your brother, you're gonna go a lot of places. Well, let's talk about the trip to Ivo then. What'd you go to Ivo for? Drink with my brother. Where? Flat Rock Road. Whereabouts on Flat Rock? Somebody's house? Mm -hmm. There's no bars I'm aware of on Flat Rock. Mm -hmm. Whose house did you go to? My brother's. Your brother has a house on Flat Rock? Yeah. Well, it's Middleton. On Middleton Road? <clears throat> What's his house number? I don't know the house number. Just a big ass farmhouse. Brick out. Is this the same brother that lives on Silo? Yes. Yeah. You have another brother? It's my little brother. What's his name? Justin Lance. Where's he at now? Crescent High School. Hmm? Crescent High School. Did we do a lot of Mm-hmm. Well, told you we went down there and drank. What no, else? He what else did y'all do? He had to go to sleep. So he could wake up and go to school. So I took Ernie home. And Ernie's your other brother. Mm -hmm. So there's Jacob, Justin, and Ernie. Are the three Lance boys? Three Lance. Are there any more? I guess so, brother. Was he with you last night? Mm -hmm. Well, what time there did you get the BMW? Hmm? The BMW. That didn't burn. What BMW? The one you took from Todd's house? I ain't taking no BMW. I got a cool Buick. Why don't you BMW? No. Did you tell me? Probably because it's nicer than that Buick. I don't know. Well, I'd be a lot of BMWs better. I'd be whipping the BMW if I would have took it. Not when you know we owe to you. That's why you all took it under and burned it, or tried to burn it. Right? I ain't burning. I ain't driving. Who did? I don't know. You know, I, I don't. I don't care if you tell us what happened or not. 
I can prove what all happened last night without you telling me. Okay? I ain't got time sitting here listening to a whole bunch of bullshit and lies. This is a courtesy to you. Now, if you want to help yourself to avoid the death penalty, so be it. A death penalty. Death penalty. You charged with murder, son. How many years is it? Life. Life. Death penalty, all kinds of... Yeah, I just... Murder. You know what murder is? Let's put that out there. We're talking about the rest of your early first. That's, that's death penalty stuff. If you want to save yourself from it, I'm here to give you that chance. But I don't care if you talk or not. But I ain't got time to listen to a bunch of damn lies. Well, I have nothing to do with this shit, though. Huh? I didn't have nothing to do with the shit. Who? Me. You did. No, I didn't. Okay, well, help me prove that. My job is to prove you did do it or didn't do it. If you didn't do it, help me prove that. Give me some shit I can work with to go corroborate your statement to get you out of here if you didn't. Problem is, you ain't got nothing. We've had a whole floor of detectives that has done nothing but work you all day long. Some of us wanted. There's a guy right now. No, yeah, more, you're right more. You sitting right here. We had a team of people that know that have done nothing but work Jacob Lamps since 2 3 o'clock this morning. Why is it all on me? It's not all on you, but we're here to talk about you. There's other people going to jail. I was a driver. I don't have no accessory to anything. What? I was a driver. I don't have no accessory to anything. You was a driver. What did you drive and do? I was a driver. The driver for what? My gold beauty. And what did your Gold Buick do? And what did the people in the Gold Buick do with you? Or do that wherever you drove them to? You already got another statement. Did you get my brother Ernie's statement? Add it up. I'm here talking about you. That's right. We'll talk to her about Ernie later, but we're here for you. If you can't be man enough to say what you did or didn't do, we ain't talk about anybody else. You can take the coward out right all you want to, but I'm not trying to take the coward out. I'm trying to I'm trying to see a little girl. I don't wanna be a child. Not sitting in here you ain't. How the hell do I get out of here? Tell the truth, tell what happened. Like I said, if you didn't do it, I'm on your side. I had to prove you didn't do it. Either way, whether you did or didn't. Right? You believe that? Right now, I got a whole bunch of shit that says you was involved. You the one that did it. You was all up in it. So what do I get if I tell you anything? Like, a deal kind of thing? I can't make any promises. Well, I need promises because I need to see my little girl. Well, here's the deal. I have a premature. How would you, how would you feel about me if I sat here and said, "Yes, I can get this, this, and this for you," and that doesn't happen? I'm going like an asshole, right? Well, I can't promise anything. What I can do is, when you cooperate, if you are truthful and all that kind of stuff. The prosecutor, who is the lawyer that prosecutes the case, they have ultimate say in what happens as far as, you know, what kind of time they're looking at, what kind of plea deals they want to work, and all that kind of good stuff. But when people are truthful and honest and want to try to help themselves, I take that. I go, listen, here's what he said. He's doing this, this, and this. He fucked up. Can we help him? They are more up to helping if we go that route. Okay? That's why I don't want to promise that I can do this, this, and this when I don't have any say in that as far as what the final outcome is. 
I have a word in it, you know, I can I can try to help sway favor in your way, but I can't make promises. I don't think that would be right for me to sit here and lie to you and say I can. So I'll tell you everything. How much longer am I going to be in here? I mean, how much longer? You have to see the judge and get a bond and all that kind of good stuff. And so I'm going to be here for days? I don't know. That's between you and the bond judge. I ain't even made the county yet. I thought I'd, this is just an interrogation room. It is. It's an interview room. Okay, you can hold me for 48 hours, right? Mm-mm. I'm not going to hold you for 48 hours. Either we're going to talk you can hold me up to 48 hours. I'm, I'm sure I could, but I have no desire to do that. But here's what's going to happen. We're either going to talk about this or we ain't, and you're going out to the jail. And if I talk about it, I get to go home? No. You have to go to jail. You have to go see a bond judge. I can't let you walk out of here. If I did that, I'd be violating your rights. I'm not going to do that. I'm not losing my job over you. Or anybody else. I think it would be fruitful for you to, you know, state your involvement and try to help yourself. I'm just trying to catch a dead. Huh? I'm just trying to catch a dead. I understand that. I'm not above catching a deal. But I can't promise you that you're going to get this, this, and this when I have, I can't, I can't promise that. You don't have that power. But we have a, we can sway the vote in your favor. Yep. Is there anything I can make a phone call? Not here. Can't lie that here. Down there? Who do you want to talk? My homeboy to get his lawyer. You can do all that in jail. You know you won't tell us. You won't get it off your chest that's weighing on you. I can see it. Right? Yeah, but I ain't no snitch. It's about snitches, about helping you. It's about, that's my brother's life and risky. I'm not going to damn tell a soul what you said. I ain't told you what other people said. Yeah. Why would I talk about you to him? I treat everybody the same. At this point, you need to think about you and that child. So, yeah, I sell we Brooks. You know Brooks? Mm -hmm. He he put me a regular customer for me. Um, He got all in his feelings and blood hurt about buying, he buying, he was buying some like two grams with a lot off of me. I gave it to him, he handed me the money, and then he said that I ripped him off, and his dad is damn drunk, and He's done threatened to shoot up my mom's house once, put rape my mom. He's threatened to rape my mom, call my mom a drunk ass whore. He said uh, he was gonna come put his uh, boot up her drunk ass and all this shit. And uh, about two weeks ago, he called and he just kept saying, "I'm gonna get county on you." Uh, my, my uncle's a cop and all this shit, and he's gonna kill me. And he was just making threats and threats and threats. And he's drunk as hell all over some weed, man. And, and I felt like my mom's life was in danger. So. So last night. 
went, I was hanging out with Ray. We got, we drank a couple beers, took a couple of cars. Went to Brooks' house. Who? Brooks' house. Yep. Ernie wanted to go. So I was just driving in there. We get in. We just, we should stalk him now. We don't see nobody. Brooks is asleep upstairs. Um, go around, go to the window. Brooks is dead. Um, just sitting there. He's drunk as hell. And my brother, he was like, man, I need some money. I'm down on child support. I'm down on child support. I need money. And now I earn it. Huh? Now I earn it. Yeah. Because he's got a bunch of child support he goes. That's what he usually gets locked up for. And he's like, I need I needed some money. I need some money. So we go in. He ain't even here. He's coming in. How'd you get in and out? Huh? How'd you get in? That left side door. Was that? Was it locked? Was that locked? Okay. But it has a bell. It goes ding, ding, ding. You can hear me here and see it's a drop. So we're walking through there and I'm just standing there. Bernie's like, oh man, I want this TV, I want this gun, I want, this, I want all this shit. So he just starts loading up shit and loading so up shit. Y'all yeah, were whispering back and forth and you and, him, you and Ernie? I was the driver. He wanted to take care of Brooks' dad because he's been turning our mom. Now you said you were over to the house and Ernie was telling you. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I was in the house. I've seen it. I've seen it. Walk in and I just start packing shit up, packing shit up. Finally, get it packed. All while he's drunk on the couch. Yeah, he ain't in here. And put it in the car. He said, All right, I want to handle this. And we walk in the room, open the door. looks at me. First thing he does is grab his pistol. And my brother, my brother said, what the fuck are you going to do to my mom? Just started beating this shit out of him with a bat. Where'd the bat come from? Where'd the bat come from? Where did the bat come from? It was my papa's bat. Did y'all take it with you or was it already in the house? We took it with you. You took it with you. Okay. So you just started beating him with the bat? Yeah. And then, like, he dropped the gun or whatever, and, uh, Brooks, Brooks and Dad is just, like, laying on the table like this. Yeah. And then, like, he's just, like, choking on his own blood, and I he says, get out. And I said, okay. And I he took his knife. Stabbed him one time right here. One time right here and slid his throat. And he also told me he'd set him on fire. Where were you at when he did that? In the car. Because he told me he didn't get it out. Did you see the fire? No. You look at it? No, but I, I drove back a couple of hours later and I saw blue lights was out there. So you drove by? Yeah, to didn't check on it. Why did you drive by? Hmm? Why did you drive by? Because we didn't, we didn't want Brooks to like catch on fire and burn a lot. Why did you put him on fire? But you know, I didn't think the whole house will catch on fire. I didn't set nothing on fire. I didn't kill nobody. I just told you the story. I was the driver. Okay. So what all did you load up in the car? I know you had guitars. How many of those? Four electric. One piece. Five total. So you had five guitars. What else? 
Next part is this legacy. Plasma screen TV. What up? Surreal sound. Huh? A surreal sound. Speaker. 22 act bolt action rifle. What about the gun that he had? He said that uh, Brooks Todd had a gun. Yeah, he's Brooks standing out. Yeah, he's reaching for it under the couch. That's where he keeps it. Where is it at? I didn't take it. Did I already? You said you saw him hit the floor. Huh? You said he you had said, a gun. You said he had a gun, then you said it, the gun fell on the floor. Oh, I didn't mean he had the gun. I said he was reaching for it under the couch. That's because that's where he keeps it. So at no time did you ever see him present a gun to y'all? No, he was about to. He was just re he was reaching for it, but he never actually showed it to you. Okay, and so all this was loaded up. Ernie set him on fire. Y'all left. Was anything else I take? So Ernie set him on fire and y'all left. Where'd y'all go from there? Ernie said that. Ernie said, oh, I got the keys to this motherfucker's car. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to drive it. I said, why the fuck are you going to drive it? And then he said, to make the cops think it was a robbery and lead them off. Then we dumped it. I followed him to home. He dumped it. He tried to set it on fire. The bitch went to set it on fire. Do you remember where you dumped it now? Yeah. What road? Yeah. What road was it? Wensky. Wensky Road? Y'all ain't found it yet? Yeah, we got a car. Yeah, we have it. I said he tried to burn it. Like I said, I was just a driver. How did he try to burn the car? But I mean, I know what he did, but what did you see? It? Who who set it on fire or tried to? He set it on fire. How? I don't know. I wasn't around. I was at our. He. I was. That's some, where y'all found the car. Were mm -hmm. you there? Mm -hmm. You know that tall ass grass. Mm -hmm. I wasn't walking through that shit. I had these shorts on. Um, I was standing in the road in my car, and he said, hold on, I found my lighter. And then he rolled up somewhere and did something, and just tried to set on fire. Okay. Um, when y'all left Brooks' house, y'all went straight to Iva? Or wherever you burned the car? Or Whiskey? Mm -hmm. Y'all went straight there? Nowhere else. And so, once you left there, where'd you go? Mike, we went to the stop and make make seventy dollars on twenty eight to get more beer. And That's on the way to burn the car? That's or afterwards? afterwards. How'd you pay? Huh? How'd you pay? Cash. Where'd you get the cash? I keep cash on you. Do you remember how much it was? How much what? Did you spend in the store? I didn't spend it. I'm not 21. I can't buy beer. Or any yet. Do you remember how she spent? No. Who took the money out of Todd's wallet? Bruce's dad. How much did he get? Like 16 bucks or something. You see him do that? Yeah. What were you doing on the stop? Standing there. Where? In the hallway, and then he told me to get out. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, I mean, I was just a driver. He said he wanted to come up with some money. He said, 
bro, I gotta take care of some shit. He was already right, fucked up. He was strong. He's like, I want this motherfucker who thinks he's going to touch my mom out. And he said, I want to make a come up because I don't want to go back to jail for child support. So I was just a driver. Okay. All right, so you got the beer after Jeff and I were up the car. And then, uh, and then where'd you go? We got the beer. Went home. He's out. Where you found him? Huh? Where'd you find him? Heard it? Yeah, home. Next to my house? Huh? Did you find all that shit? Huh? Did you find all that shit? I, I didn't go in the house. That's I came here. Huh? That's where everything's in. All in Ernie's house. Other than the guitars in your car? There's two in my car and there's two in my girlfriend's house. And the other one's in his house. Yeah. Where's the TV? In his room. The TV's in his room. Where's the Xbox? In his room. The rifle? In his room. Okay. Where's the bat? I don't know. He chomped it somewhere the one we dumped the car. He chomped the bat where you dumped the car? Somewhere around there. Pretty positive? So I just bullshit me or you know, No, we have the car. I'm not both okay, we got the car. I'm talking about Yeah. I'm gonna help you out. I don't have a problem. Tell the choice are you truthful and honest in your involvement. I told you that. All I did was drive. I shouldn't be charging right. Well, South Carolina has a hand on one hand of all law. Which means if me and you go to rob a store I drive, but you rob it. That's I get charged as well. Now, whether or not they drop it down to accessory, I don't know. That's on them. Are these the clothes that you had on? Or did you change clothes? You change clothes. Where are the clothes that you had on? You're in your car. What did it Ernie have on? Some camo pants. I'm sorry? Camo pants. Camo pants? Some morning clothes. Do you know where they are? Yeah. I left here. Do you know if Ernie left his house after you dropped him off? No. He made me. I left. He left. He wanted me to pick him up, but y'all ran after me and I was trying to stay low. What did you think was going to happen after all this? Somebody died. If I wouldn't have made it, if I wouldn't have went home, I wouldn't be here right now. Well, eventually we'd have found you. Like we said, we knew who you were. We knew what you were driving. Even if I left the state. We'd have found you. The, the bowl of lookouts and all that were out. So, back to the back, you said it's not someone in the car. Yeah. What do you mean by that? You threw it in the weeds, you threw it on the road, threw it in the water pines. Oh, back in the pines. In the pond. Pines. 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 Yeah. And any time that y'all go to the lake, by the Hardys, where's your phone at now? My phone? Your phone. Where's it at? Somewhere in the road. I was driving on the highway and do it. Bus it. How long ago? On the way to the long side. 
Gør jeg forhånd nødt til. Super. Joy, der er forhånd nødt til. Joy. Forhånd, forhånd, forhånd. Joy. Jeg har været rigtig rundt, når du talte det ud. Ja, det er ikke noget, det er ikke noget, det er ikke noget, det er ikke noget, det er ikke What we're trying to do is also collaborating your story. It helps us to continue to make sure you're truthful. In other words, if you say you dropped your phone over on this road, we we'll go find that phone. That's you being truthful. We we'll go find this bat in the pines besides the car or where the car was found at. You're being truthful. That makes sense. You know, everything you say, we want to go back and follow it up. We trust, but we have to verify. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. I don't know where it goes on. I'm not trying. I do know where the bat is. Yeah. And the bat is near the, in the ponds. I'll give you a bat. Yeah. Hmm. I don't care if fall works or not. I mean, we... Well, if it's smashed, it's smashed. We can't get up off of it. But it's just one thing we have to go look for. Why do you need my phone? I'm just asking. You took my girlfriend's phone too. I did. Why? It's all standard procedure now. With the way society is. See, I'll legally get to keep my own as well. She legally gave it to me. I didn't take it. I asked. She gave it to me. She didn't have to give me her phone. Now when I go back with a search warrant, then she has to give me the phone. But I had it. She gave it to me. She and I don't give it back to her. I didn't say that. You said... You asked if I took her phone. So I'm going to give it back. I don't know. I'm going to keep it for a while. I do know that. She needs her phone. Well. Because I want to talk to my kid if you're going to plan on locking me up. That's where I just helped you out. Like I told you, you're going to jail. You have to go to jail. Somebody died. You're already arrested. I didn't kill him. But you was there. You could have stopped it. I know, Josh. Let me ask a question. Any times you call 911, why would I have call this one? On my brother. Would you call 911 on your brother? If he kills him? Yeah, for a murder charge? Probably. Yes. I ain't going to get nobody else. Not for some bullshit like that or some weed. No. I understand family's family, but if he decides he wants to kill somebody else and bring me in on it, I ain't gonna call him. So let me hit the shit. He brought you in on it, did he not? If it happened the way you say, he took you with him, right? I was just a driver, like I said. But you drove him. You were in there, witnessed him beat the guy with the bat, right? You could have left, called nine one one. Hey, my fucking brother's in here killing somebody. Either way, I was there. I'm going to go to jail. But how do you act and act afterwards is what helps decide where that goes. Did you say earlier that the guy had a son? He had a son. Brooks. Brooks had a son. Someone that was upstairs asleep. That's Todd's son. Todd's son. Yeah. Is Todd not Brooks? No, no, Bruce was another son. Brooks was asleep. Yeah. Okay. So Brooks was one up there asleep. At any time that he come down, yeah. any time did y'all go up to see what was up with him? Yeah. You said you were standing at the hallway. Is that in case he came down? The what? You said you when you were inside the house, you were just kind of standing in the hallway? Yeah. 
Is that in case Brooks came downstairs or? No, uh, he told me to get out because he's about to kill Todd. And any time we all afraid Brooks was going to come downstairs and see what was going on? I mean, what, 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 would I, you know, what were you thinking? Just trying to get a mindset. But well, why don't you want us to tell us we pulled it? Tell us. You think we're going to go through and get all your dope in contact for something? Or? Yeah. I care about that dead man. What I care about. So we are. We're all side detectors. Give a shit about them dope. I understand it from the cause or whatever, but I don't care. Care nothing about it. Well, I got the biggest drug dealer around here in my farm. If you find him in my farm, he knows it was me and he's gonna kill me. So I'm not, I'm not giving him my farm. I don't care about dope. Chances are they probably are in the big drug dealer around here, isn't it? Like, they have a whole special squad, and that's all they do. Got narcotics. That's what they do. They work their case. They probably already know. And he ain't gonna tell them nothing. Well, he is. Hmm? I, I don't care. I haven't even asked you who it is. I don't care. I don't know. Okay. I'm not only going to tell you. Well, that's good. I'm glad we agree on something. But I'm trying to get up. Did y'all take anything else with you? No. I mean, look, you took the bat. Did you take all? Take anything else? I mean, yeah. What about that crossbow in Ernie's house? Where'd that come from? That was Ernie. He bought it. So, how did? I understand you sell weed. That's how you get money. How does Ernie get money? He works at HVAC. HVAC. He's in there. You should be more here. He's working on more here. No, he does his own. He works for himself. Now, somebody told me something about that uh, he may be good for breaking into some houses and stealing stuff like that. Is that about right? I wouldn't do that. I'm not going into that with you, but I just wonder if that's true what I hear. That's all. I don't know he does or not. I don't live there anymore. I try to say it to myself. I I try to be around my kid as much as I can. That kid ain't very old. I don't care. She's premature. I understand that. Have you been in trouble before? I haven't been in trouble. I have you ever been in trouble? I got a clean record. You ain't in trouble with high school? Nothing like that? That's a kid? I got a fight. I got a assault charge. You caught some of weed being a clean record? I mean, just because you ain't got caught, that doesn't mean you're an outstanding person. I mean, is that the right way to raise a kid? I've been looking for a job, but it's buying there for me right now. Well, I was about to start trying to count here in the second semester because I want to be a DNR, but shit, I guess I'm facing life, right? Mm -hmm. Let's get back to your story part where you went down Flat Rock. Do you really have a brother that goes crushing? Yeah. Was he really with you? Yeah. He didn't have anything to do with this? Yeah. Does he live with another family member or something? It was his mom. Which is my ex stepmom married my ex brother in law. Okay. His name really Justin? Mm-hmm. When was the last time you saw him? His girlfriend was a damn 
The girlfriend's dad is the like, damn captain of the squad up here. Damn Bobby. Bobby. Bobby what? I don't know his last name, but her last name is Fletcher. I don't know if they have any bodies here. Yeah, I don't know Bobby. No, honestly. Definitely, we have many captains, but uh, I don't know that doesn't matter. Name Bobby. <laughs> How far down in the pine tree did you get back? I mean, when you burned the car, when you dealt the car, how, how far off? I didn't tell the bell when dealt the car, so I wouldn't know. You were there. It was dark. I couldn't see it. Also. So how do you know it was in the creek? Huh? How do you know he put the bat in the creek? Because he didn't have it when he got back in the car. So you just know it somewhere up there. So I'm still facing life. You're charged with murder and burglary first, right now. You know what the hell I just gave you? Yeah, that's done. That's why you're sitting here. Okay? You're charged with that. Just like I said. So if me and him go to rob somebody. Okay, even though. I, so I could just say, and I said shit, and still been in the same situation. No, because you're only up for what you did. Hey, you're you, sitting there trying to be truthful. That's going to go somewhere. Here's what I think you're looking at. You're just looking at here and now. Okay? What he's trying to tell you is what you've done comes in the later. Here and now, it is what it is. You're charged with murder. You're charged with burglary first degree. Both of those carry up to life. Murder charge, you know, up to death. Okay? Burglary there's nothing by itself is 15 to life. Right. There, there's no, nothing you, you can do on the front side. But by you being honest and truthful, you know, he'll, they'll ask him, the judge will say, did he cooperate with you? And he'll say yes. So all that comes in on the back side. Right now you're at it is what it is. There's no other way around it. You're going to jail. You're going to go sit the judge. You're going to need a bond. You know, where the judge bonds you at down there. That's going to happen. And I have no say in what kind of bond you get. And to be honest with you, I, I don't know that you're going to get a bond. You know, they, they don't have a habit of letting people out on the street that committed burglary first and murder. Okay, the murder thing, you know, whatever. You I witnessed what it. I mean. You witnessed it. You was there, right? But regardless, you went in the house and stole some shit. It wasn't yours. I ain't holding on it. It's in your fucking car. I was holding it for him. What the man. fuck are you going to do with it now? Do you see me playing guitar? I mean, honestly. I don't that's, know. That's holding it, though. You went in that house. Yeah, you can't tell me shit. You're holding it. Yeah, you can tell me shit. You You can't tell me you didn't help blood up from stuff. I did. No. That's burglary. You went in the house and committed the crime of larceny. That's burglary first. Fifth in life right there. Did y'all shoot this guy? What? Did y'all shoot this guy? Shoot me. Todd. So we shot him first when he came downstairs, right? What what was used to set him on fire? Was he really set on fire? That's what he already told me. I didn't see it. He was set on fire? Was the house set on fire? He said he on fire. How bad? What do you look like? Show me a picture. I didn't take no pictures. Oh, why, would you, why would you want to see a picture of that? I was just kidding. That was a joke. But anyway. What did he use to set him on fire? I don't know. He told me to leave the room. I told you that three times. Okay. I'm not trying to be a smart ass, but. At any time, did you hit him? 
Not just one sucker punch. Or this is for mom. <laughs> this is for mom. Well, I mean, you're saying that, hey, you know, you guys did this because if I would have mm-hmm. y'all were upset with him because you said stuff about your mom. If I would have hit him, you would have found his DNA on my ring. So, no. I didn't touch him because I don't want him to have no, no, his DNA on me. So I didn't murder him. Well, speaking of DNA, you know they're going to want that from you. What? The DNA sample. Blood? No, it's called a buckle swab. They, they take a big Q tip and you'll swab your mouth. I mean, you, we'll hand you a big Q tip and you just. Swap him out, put an envelope. That's it. So what? For DNA. You know, yeah, I'm sure you've watched TV on how everything goes to DNA now. So we got to send everything we got to fucking DNA and get it compared to you and who else was there and Todd and all that shit. So. That's something else we're going to ask you to give us, but later on. Would you have a problem with that? What? Give us a DNA snap. When? Later on. A couple hours. Later on this evening. I don't know. I don't care. Can I get a phone call? Tell you the phone call when you get booked in. Yeah, unless you just follow me. you gotta set up your call list. Yeah, that's a whole nother process. Yeah, if I get home so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how that works. We don't we don't run the jail. That's a different part of the office. I do know you will have to set up your phone. You never been to jail? How old are you? Nineteen. Kind of shitty being 19 years old, first time you go to jail is on a murder and a murder first charge, what you think? That's a real deal. I'll be going to a, uh, the violent side. They keep all the violent people together. Is there anything about the night that we've left out? Anything else you need to tell us? I didn't do, but like we said earlier, you know, going there and commit a burglar is one thing, you know, but when he starts trying to kill somebody, you got every opportunity to leave the house, offer help, lead him, all kinds of shit. So you can't tell me you didn't have any interest in it. You had interest in it. You wanted to see him get hit for what he's been saying about your mom and the family. I believe that. Well, you were left. Just like you asking about a picture of him being burned. That interests you. Am I wrong? I'm wrong for him, wrong. I don't know. Everything I just told you is all bullshit. Huh? Everything. Uh, that's all lies. What's a lie? Yeah. All this? Yeah. What you just said about him hitting him and all? No, I just made a bunch of bullshit to tell you all. Oh, is it? Yeah. So what's the truth? What's the truth then? I'm not answering questions. Take me back downstairs. Okay. That's why you want to do it. Right. Okay.